Carolina. Welcome to the toughest sport on dirt. We welcome all of our viewers around the world. Jerome makes you want to be a bull rider. He is the epitome of what rodeo is. I think we were getting ready to see great things. How good was he going to be? And he said that day, always remember, no matter what happens, I was doing what I love. Jerome, you've done it. You won the Iron Man Bull Riders Classic. How do you feel? Uh, wait, roll me maybe or something. Oh, danger. Jerome Danger. Jerome Danger. Because he rides kind of spooky through the trail. He goes on wobbles and curves. And they found him one day sunk in the middle of a pond. Yeah, in a skid loader. Had to swim out there and get him. I can remember my aunt watching him on, on his motorcycle and she's like, this child's never going to make it, Pam. He's never going to make it. And I'm like, I know, but what are you going to do? <laughs> Here's Jerome Davis from Archdale, North Carolina. Come on, yeah. Jerome. Come on, Jethro. Keep it humping. That's a boy. Yes, sir. Pay the man. He won the college national championship as a bull rider. They recruited him as a saddle bronc rider. Man, he is one of the best that ever ran his hand in the bull rope. He could have his knees run in him and his toes east and west. Like, I don't know how he did it. He must have been double jointed somewhere. Oh, yeah. So he almost won the world in 94. He won the world in 95. In 96, he won the most money in the PBR than any other guy. There's a champion right there, Jerome Davis. And he's the leader. He's the man to beat. And things were just rocking. I don't know why, but Norman Curry had a white pair of shaps and he had a white hat and he would always, I thought, man, he, he always looked so cool. So I'd wear them during the summer for some reason. We'd go through the summer run, we'd be on the grind, getting on bulls all the time. I'd break up in white shaps. It was just kind of cool, I thought. But uh, the last pair I wore was this, uh, the tan pair there. That was the, that tan pair with the red fringe. That was the pair that uh, I was wearing when I got hurt. This guy's been the PRCA champion of the world. Good cowboy. It seemed like everything was going south. We had to land the plane in Waco and drive up. And when I get ready to try to go in the building, the man at the building wasn't going to let me in because they had my credentials. They used to sit all the wives and girlfriends together. And I was looking at the day sheet, and three quarters wife said, Ooh, drum's got knock em out John. Knock em out John. Boy, what a name. muscles on this boy. Everything was going good. I was riding around the corner for about four, five, six seconds into it. Uh, he got me rocking a little bit and he jumped forward. We start this week with an update on Jerome Davis. Well, as you may know by now, Jerome Davis suffered a real severe neck injury. Now he's got movement in his arms, he's doing better. I think Tater had took the glove off. And he looked at Tater and he said, take my glove off. But we'd already took it off, I thought. Jerome's always smiling, laughing, and just carrying on, just silly. And I thought, oh, this will break his spirit. But um, it did. What's it like to be back around your friends? I felt real good. You know, I got here and got to see everybody. I just felt like I should have a bull rope with me or something. But uh, it felt real good. And then we were going to therapy and Tiffany was like up over the seat. I was driving, Jerome was in the front and they're laughing and giggling and I can remember thinking, we're gonna be okay. At the same time, I was gonna be married a month after that to Tiff and uh, you know, well, after I got hurt, I kind of tried to push her away and kind of talk her out of it because I didn't feel like she needed to go down that road, but she wasn't having nothing to do with that. Here comes Dang Dang. Come on. Come on, Poochie. <laughs> this is my therapy. I come out here with these bulls when it's just me and them and have, talk to the bulls and carry on. You know, I'll get rubbing on them and stuff like that and just to, to watch them. People think I'm crazy for talking to bulls, but I think that's what keeps me from going crazy is talking to the bulls sometimes. <laughs> You know, what's cool about Tiff is, is 
usually she'll just go with whatever I got some crazy idea on my mind you know she's good with it you know I can't rodeo and go up and down the road no more so I built this in my backyard <laughs> this was kind of my therapy you know was building this place I would I would come out here and come up with crazy ideas and figure out a way we could pay for it to build it and, and we would just keep building. Everything goes into the arena. So, well, I hope all y'all like where you're sitting because y'all sitting on my vacation home. Hello, everybody. We'd like to welcome everyone out tonight for the Boot Barn Wild West Wednesday. Hey, we got a great show lined up tonight. And it's kind of like the field of dreams, man. We, we build it and they come and we're out here in Royal Randolph County and they just kept coming. Jerome was the first guy to, to make the NFR east of the Mississippi and the first guy east of the Mississippi to ever win a world championship. And I think that made these guys out here on the East Coast realize, hey, that's something we can do. That little redneck did it, we can too. Coming here to these rodeos and stuff was kind of a big part of a lot of our childhood. I've pretty much grown up in this arena because I won my very first buckle ever at this arena in knee deep mud. I started coming here when I was about 16, 17 years old. Tiff, she don't cut you no slack back there now. She's hard on you the whole time. And I mean, from the time you crawl off in there till the time you leave. Yeah, she's the boss lady. Like, you don't get her mad. Jerome said, you're going to have to start flanking. Well, back then, no women were on the back of the chute. You know, and I was like, I don't know. The reason I think we get along so good is she grew up around this. This is what she done. She enjoys what I enjoy. There's no doubt I've been blessed with a good woman. Nowadays you'll see the, the girls when they're dating the bull riders and I mean they look like movie star models, runway models. They got the stilettos on and stuff. When their boyfriends or husbands retire, they better start learning how to feed some bulls because it don't get out of their system. So they'll be trading them stilettos in for mud boots if they stick it out. That mindset that took to win a world title is the same mindset that every day that I get out of bed with, it keeps me positive and moving forward in life. If a person takes that mindset, you can accomplish anything.